So welcome back to the vlog. Uh, if you haven't gathered yet, oh, we got all kinds of fun hair stuff going on here. I'm gonna attempt to power wash the house and put on new shutters and paint trim and get this place as fixed up as we possibly can on our own. And Travis just went to Walmart to get some more power washer attachments so we can get like up in those peaks there. Eventually I would love to just have that whole peak with cedar shake, but we're getting it at least painted a, a non-yellow color for now. Okay, same day, had to go through an outfit change. Travis has gone to get more extenders for this power washer. Outdoor house things, they're a happening. Projects are coming. Pool is still not gonna be here for another week. So, we're just trying to bust through as much as we can. It's kind of like one of those oddly satisfying videos where you see the dirt peel off the house. Paint's coming off too. I got my trim color though picked out, so here we go. My goal in life, it's late evening now, is to get the back of the house done before dinner, but that may look more like getting half of it done before dinner, so we shall see. So, I think I'm gonna stop for now. Maybe I'm half done. Yeah, everything needs to come off that back deck and just not feeling that right now. Zion is working on putting chicken wire around that zip tie dome. Travis went out earlier to get the last things we needed for that. I think I'm gonna check on that. I'm gonna go take a peruse around the property with you. Then I'm gonna go in and start pulling things together for dinner. Here's all the zip tie dome progress for today. It was hard to find. We needed a four foot high and 150 foot long chicken wire. We found that at our one small town local hardware store. I've shared this in a few videos lately. We got the last roll they had. They had none at Lowe's and none at Tractor Supply. He stopped for the day, but it's gonna have a door there that opens. Yay, hooray. Maybe tomorrow will be the day. We can do a little poem. Tomorrow could be the day that the meat birds might go in there. Yay. And I'm just still so happy with how this front garden turned out. We got the rocks done to here today. And we're talking about whenever we get to this end of the house that we'll need to rent um, rent one of those lifts for the day. I forget what they're called, scissor lift or something. Just cause we kinda, we got a hill here and uh, it's high. The other side of the house will be able to get pretty well, but here mama's probably gonna need a lift. Here's the little meat birds though, enjoying their grass and sunshine here. Happy Wednesday afternoon now getting dinner in the slow cooker I am doing uh, chicken broccoli alfredo threw my chicken in threw my butter in garlic sour cream cream cheese we will let it cook on high for about four hours or so then um, later this evening when I come back to full with it again probably about 30 minutes or so before we eat it, I will mix in a bag of broccoli. Besides that, I'm gonna make kids lunch. I got all my sandwich stuff out here. 
And then I'm hoping to finally get outside and uh, get back to power washing. Now the good news is we've been wondering, I think I already mentioned how these gutters, they're like two years old, but they matched them. They're like a yellowish, um, which is what the trim was on the rest of the house. We're kind of, do we're doing a brown now. So Travis has been reading about how to paint the gutters. I think it'll be fairly easy for it to take as well since we're going to a darker color. Some of the houses we looked at had brown gutters and I was like, I don't want brown gutters. And now here I am, I'm painting my gutters brown. What Travis was reading about, it said that you can use exterior latex paint and whatever the exterior paint is I got for the trim matched up with what Travis was reading. So all that to say, I'm gonna clean the, the gutters well. Travis has, I forgot what he called it, something, another cleaning product that we can use on these, those gutters because that was recommended and then we can paint them. But this afternoon, I'm just gonna work on getting things power washed some more. The back deck, I gotta take everything off of it. I also want to paint the floor there that's just concrete and it looks like it's been a brown a red and a green over these 60 years so I'm just gonna get as much of that up with the power washer as I can and okay, let's get this done Certainly making a bigger mess, but uh, I, I ran out of gas, so gotta get this refilled. Took a little break, gonna set my timer again though. It always helps me to run a timer to see how long something has taken me. Before I, I went solid for 40 minutes. I um, said so Travis to Lowe's, you know, our few stores here, it's either Lowe's or Walmart it seems like. Usually at our other houses I've gotten a Battleship Gray that's good for concrete. I know they also have some browns, so I told him to pick that up because with all the paint I didn't get that type. And then I told him to get me a hose and hose reel for the front. Projects are a mounting, but that's good. It's a good time to get this done. I also talked to the pool company today. Today when I'm filming this, it is June 3rd. They're already like a week and a half behind on getting us that pool, but they said between today and Friday over the next three days, they're supposed to get the big shipment for all their current customers from their warehouse and we should be having the delivery by early next week. So it's just really good to bust through as many things as we can since we've been given that little bit of extra time. I was having some hope. We've been training the, uh, the turkeys and the chickens, all the little poultry here to the new coop, which is down around the bend. And they were all just walking in that direction. It's about eight o'clock now, but now they're all coming back. Probably more because they see me standing here. So that could be exciting. Hi guys. Hey, Buster Brown. How you doing? Well, got a bunch of power washing done. Almost done with the back of the house. Um, got this last little corner, but you could tell that things are so tall here that I will have to add those extenders on that Travis got yesterday for us. And I think I'll just start with that tomorrow. My power washing arms have been at it for a bit, so good with that. So we'll finish that tomorrow. Let's talk out this plan. This other side of the house, and then the front. Oh, we're doing it. So, project time. I got that slow cooker dinner going, that chicken broccoli Alfredo. I guess it's time. I'll go wash my hands. We'll get the broccoli. What you fellas think, huh? And I will start running kids through showers. And yes, if you hadn't, hadn't heard, we've been staying outside doing projects and stuff late and having late dinners. It's just part of the summer fun. Benjamin sees me. Hi! Hey, you ready to go in and get your bubble bath? You want to sit on my lap? Are you ready for your bubble bath? Yeah. You got your fun mess face? I can tell you've had some popsicles. But the weather report, it was 92 here today. So we did not get outside. The air conditioner works fantastic in this house, thankfully. Because that was something we were going to update 
this summer and now I'm like, okay, we don't have to update the air conditioner yet. We might be able to get, I feel like we'll get two years out of it. Maybe that's all. Anyway, it was 92, super humid to say. Virginia's warming up for summer. So we did not get out until later this afternoon and did things in the evening. And uh, like I say, bath time. So for dinner, we're doing chicken, broccoli, Alfredo. I've done some butter noodles for the kids to have it over. Also, I did some spaghetti squash in my big 14 quart go wise pressure cooker for whoever would like to have it over spaghetti squash. So here we go. Rain, so much rain. We've just had like three days of rain. No filming, no projecting on the outside of this house has been accomplished, but it's not supposed to thunderstorm for hopefully another two hours or so. Bright and sunny now. Don't know how my little helmet thing's gonna go though with my mask shield on, but anyway, let's get back to power washing. Daniel just went down to the chicken coop to bring back chicken eggs. You got some? Progress, my friends. Hey, honey. Travis went to get some some things for me and for us popsicle refills. You know things that are priorities. My hands are numb from holding that power washer. I'm not going to get. This is actually a really high part of our house. Um, I got what I could, and just like Travis got that really tall end, I got here the little shorty end. He'll have to get the rest. I still went ahead and got the lower part. I'm getting what I can do. Even though the whole thing will be gently rinsed again, it won't be like forcibly power washed. I'm gonna move to the front now, which is exciting because I thought I would have been there days ago. The original shutters are not off yet, but yeah, hopefully I can get Travis to take those off when he gets back and keep power washing from there. Yay. Okay, so oh, yeah. as I'm taking that paint off, I'm realizing it was wood under there. I don't know what I thought it was. And now I'm thinking if I could get all that paint off, I could stain it. And then I'm thinking with these shutters, maybe I could get the paint off. Maybe I could stain the front ones. Hmm, I don't know. Don't get too excited about that. I know it may not work out like that at all. These are just the thoughts right now. But I think we are getting ready to take these shutters off. Maybe I can get the paint off of them easier with, I didn't really try too much yet, with the power washer when they're on the ground. Also, tons of paint chips go into my mulch, but I'm gonna rake it. It'll all work out. Again, I always tell you, me, cart, horse. Do the front flower bed, cart, power wash the house and do shutters and paint. Course. Old shutters off. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a good reality check. Like, come on, Jamerell, let's get real conversation. Travis and I talked about what it would take to really stain that and stain the shutters. And I'm lazy, so I'm over it. I'm over it already, even having the conversation. I'm just not not gonna fulfill that. <laughs> so, on with the paint and the shutters. Anyway, I want to show you. So this is like such a mess here, okay? This was behind one of the shutters and I was, I was looking at it and I was telling the kids, look kids, it's like, it's an advertisement for the original internet. It was a colored encyclopedia set with full color animal pictures, Amelia. And so they couldn't Google, insert random animalness here, they had to get the book. For some reason, it was behind one of the shutters. The Illustrated Encyclopedia of American Life. Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fishes, and insects. Alive with color in 570 remarkable photographs. Based on the combined genius and labors of the world, wildlife, photographers, illustrators, explorers, and writers. 
15,000 subjects, page references, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, okay, so back to power washing. I've gotta do this part. I've gotta do the other half there. Travis is gonna get the rest of that tall edge. I'm tired now, I'm gonna keep going. Here we go. Making progress. I mean, it definitely looks cleaner. I'm, I'm excited. Travis is spreading out the sand now for the pool. I'm thinking of other updates. We were supposed to pick up the sheep yesterday, but the family that we're buying them from, the lady emailed me. It's actually the same family we got the rooster from, and they're local, but we found them off Craigslist, so now that's great. They raise all kinds of animals. They also basically have like a petting too. <laughs> anyway, they weren't, going to be available yesterday so we've rescheduled it for next Friday which actually works out well because we had a huge tree limb fall on one of our fences so we're gonna have to repair that over the next few days as well I'm gonna get stuff moved down and have another popsicle break so that's how Jamara how do you do this I do little spurts and then I sit and drink a diet Dr. Pepper have a popsicle then I get up so with this done the next big push is gonna be the front of the house there that has the porch uh, then I'll probably have another break after that and then I will close the garage doors and probably do those garage doors and then we are done power washing except for the really high peaks I'm gonna have Travis get and then Travis was also telling me this is where I again decided okay Jim you're not gonna go through everything to stain everything we're gonna have to get a bunch of caulk so probably tomorrow he will just go get caulk and we will start caulking all the things I know whenever we sold our farmhouse we were like we were caulking experts. So I was like, oh good, I, I love caulking. So I'm starting to wonder, will I get this painted and the shutters on by the end of this vlog? Hmm, we shall see. Couldn't believe it. Just got about a third of this porch done. Looked around, camera battery been long dead. Got around this corner, worked on the gutters, got the door, got this brick. It was just like sheets of brown rolling down off the brick here. But to me, this looks nice and fresh. And then you can see, you know, kind of a what it looks like before and then what it looks like after.
All right, so it's uh, almost 6.30. I've been at this four hours. So this side of the house we got here, here, down, 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 all the way to that window. I'm gonna have to save, save the garage for tomorrow. Mama is done for today, but it definitely looks real good. I want to also power wash that bench there. Uh, the bench behind the stroller and paint that. Come on, Benjamin. We got a big scrap bowl. Happy Sunday afternoon. Turkeys are following us. We're continuing to show them their new home last night. Boy, I don't think we had to catch anybody last night. They all knew. So that was about a week-long process training everybody down here to the new coop. And we got the meat birds in their new dome last night. Oh, Jazzy, you don't need to be here for this. You don't, what are you girls doing? You don't get the chicken scraps? Okay, so now we got some drama. Now I'm gonna have to go in. I had some spaghetti squash for them. Oh, let me sit, let me send for reinforcements. Mama goat and baby still following. Hopefully Liam hurries up with that spaghetti squash. This is why usually I do the scrap bowl in the morning. Good job, Jazzy. There's some spaghetti squash for you. So baby goat, since she sticks with mama, what is she now, 14 weeks old or so? She's been running loose in the yard with Mama and Jazzy for certain times during the day. So I also talked to my mom for two hours on the phone today. Been having trouble connecting, so I had to get all caught up. Some seasons I'm able to talk like every day, and then sometimes too, too much time goes by. Okay, so here it is. We got the last of the chicken wire on there last night. It's um, 16 feet wide and eight or nine feet tall. The biggest one they had, supposed to be for 50 to 100 birds. I probably won't be doing any more than 50 in it. I love it that there's still so much room to move it about on this whole side. We have a tarp that we can use to cover half of it. Again, zip tie dome, not sponsored. When I was looking for simple chicken tractor solutions, this is what I found. Some folks have asked me, how is it predator safe? Again, we all live in this world, we don't have a huge predator issue here like as far as like bears and coyotes but of course there's raccoons and possums and such um, so we have our great Pyrenees that are nearby and this chicken wire someone was talking to me about burying it we can't bury it and it also be a movable um, contraption so that the birds can always have fresh bugs and fresh grass to eat but we have an overhang and here's the handles so that you know two or three people can grab on. It holds about 150 pound hanging weight. That's all I can say about it other than, and it's got a door here. Yeah, hold on, can you hold on one minute? Yeah. Said every mother to every toddler everywhere. So as I mentioned, it is Sunday afternoon. I'm going back outside, but I had a kid-free moment to say a few things. And I know, I know friends, mama needs to pay some attention to her eyebrows. Maybe I'll just talk like this, okay? Pirate J. Morrell. So there's so much I could be doing this afternoon. I just really feel like I need a day, an afternoon. It's two now. Um, just gonna take the rest of the day to sit around, to read to my children. Uh, we will probably play some games at some point at least rummy, you know, something we can sit around and do. And Travis has things he's doing for the rest of the day. He doesn't need to sit around and read stories and play games if he doesn't want to. So we are gonna play some games, chill out. We did get two rainy afternoons, or definitely one rainy afternoon that rained us out, another day that we just knew it was gonna rain all day. We hooked up the TV and I got to watch, we catched up on some Blue Bloods and just watch some TV with our feet up. So yes, it does happen. Again, we just have two big projects going on. The moving and the setting up the farm. So all that to say, we are also taking time to rest. So what we tried to do this week when it started raining, I've told you if anything has been cut down during this time of moving and farm building, it has been our read aloud time. And if you have, have, have listened to me, for five moments, you know I am all about reading. I don't have any products connected with reading. I don't promote anything other than I need to read books all the time. And I need to be reading Mommy. books to my children all the time. And my children need to be reading all the time. Hold on, honey. So with the farm building, 
and the moving and the power washing and just everything. We've been very like basics, <laughs> core things only, and the long read aloud times that we thrive on haven't been happening. Except this week, I just said that's it. I'm getting this back in because I've tried a few times and it just hasn't worked. So. The last book, and yes, if you look at some books I shared this winter, we were reading The Hiding Place. Here we are again, reading The Hiding Place. I love this book. We've been through it so many times. We've listened to it so many times. But we're going to read it start to finish again because we had started it, and I'm committed. The big thing that I'm doing different now, you know, usually I will have a stack of like five or six read-alouds and taking two to three or more hours to read aloud every day we can spin multiple books at a time. And I know realistically in the coming weeks, we will not consistently have those type of big time chunks. I know it might be more like 30 minutes after dinner or 30 minutes after lunch and school is done before we get out the door. Just telling you mamas, it can be a struggle. <laughs> so I'm trying to just stay focused on one book. So not like me, I love having a bunch going. Still wanted to read just a little bit of Prayers That Changed History to the kids today. There's some good ones on Sojourner Truth in there. We did a lot, a lot on the Underground Railroad, a lot on Harriet Tubman. Just cannot get enough of it. Um, but I have not done a good job on reading to the kids about Sojourner Truth. Really want to. I think I read them a few brief things, but I need to order books on her. Um, Anyway, Trisha, in this Prayers That Changed History, I was looking today, as it just, you know, everything breaks your heart, breaks your mama's heart. But on page 119, she's got a good introduction to Sojourner Truth, and we love Harriet so much. I want to introduce them to her. I thought, okay. But again, we have hours today. I would pick a little bit in this homesteading book. But mainly, uh, we're reading about Corey Tin Boone and The Hiding Place and um, the Jewish nation in The Hiding Place. So, hmm, now I'm off, gotta do a few goat things then to enjoy the rest of this afternoon. We have actually taken our story party here, it's been a little bit, oh, I'm been getting the yard ready to mow oh, and stuff. I'm We're not mowing, today. Travis is mowing. This is how my Sharp Shopper snacks are used. So we got one case of this Boom Chicka Pop left that I got for $3.99 and a 35 cent um, bag of peppermint marshmallows. And while I read to the kids for a long time, they're gonna have snacks and we're just gonna have a nice time and Travis is gonna mow the land and we get to read stories instead. Yay! Yeah. You excited? Yeah! 